still an early beginning for Lamar Odom. It's needed. Well, obviously it's needed from Lamar, but I think it's needed after, especially the way the Lakers lost their last game. It's needed by everybody. They need to get out of the gates, out of the gate in a hurry tonight. Lamar working against Griffin Smush. Quick catch and shoot. Man, long rebound for Kobe. Lakers lead early. <laughs> long shot, long rebound, and Kobe tracked it down and makes his first attempt. Pick and roll, Dampier got it late. Now it's going to be Terry. They don't shoot, believe it or not, as many threes. The Lakers, in fact, have taken 91 more threes. Kobe on the crossover, He's trying to barge his way in. Good defense, but the length of Howard and the help from Dampier. Josh Howard the other way. And Nowitzki up against the smaller man puts it back. He was well, trying to be boxed. Well, Smush was trying to box him out. Well, you steal, you box out, but you also then try to jump as well because if you're just boxing and this guy is a lot taller than you, and he's able to get a rebound from behind without committing a foul. Right, no loose ball bound. You may have come over your back as you're going up. Good point. Kobe, two for two. Lakers lead by two. Well, they got Adrian, Adrian Griffin in the lineup, and uh, I would think his responsibility should be to play Kobe since his reputation is that of a defender. Oh! Yeah, there's a loose ball bound. For some time, fortunately, in his 10th year, 5-2 Lakers. Well, right now, Kobe is guarding Adrian Griffin, so he can be like a center fielder. Try to disrupt the uh, Maverick offense. Chris Mim tried to tap it over. Howard saves it. Who's going to get a good job? Look, make sure Nowitzki get and get to it. Kobe on the run. Up against Griffin with a spin. And the Lakers increase their lead to 7-2. Well, Nifty move. I can't say enough about the play of Brian Cook on the, that led to two points. Without him diving for that ball and tapping it to Kobe, the Mavericks get possession of it. Well, in two and a half minutes, they've already produced 50% of their output in the first quarter from Sunday night. When they had 14, step back, Nowitzki. Six leading score in the NBA, 26 a game. That kind of length would have fall away to boot. Go. When he dove for the loose ball, it's, it's free, and all of a sudden, Nowitzki's there. I thought he was going to pick it up. You know? And Brian Cook dives, taps it to Kobe. Kobe does the rest with his acrobatics. So Brian Cook with his first. Now Dampier setting up Griffin. And Adrian Griffin, who they picked up. You remember he started a few games for the Chicago Bulls. The first lead of the game, Lakers 7 to 6. Lakers have started the contest 3 through 6. And Eric Dampier. Cool. Yeah, Dampier's an interesting one. <laughs> well, first it? of all, he should have dumped the ball. Right. He had lost bound, uh, his sight there of where the rim was when he went up. Oh, Kobe with a beautiful look. Uh, Kobe's uh, shot really looks fluid again tonight, but seemingly it always looks fluid. It's just the end result that uh, is better some nights than others. Seven foot. You just don't lay it up. Look at this. I mean, you dunk the ball. I mean, that's the highest percentage shot in the game. He tries to shoot it off the glass. He does. From one side of the glass to the other, never grew iron. We saw that a couple of games ago here, but I'm not going to bring it up. Inside of eight left in the first quarter. Lamar, yes! So Lamar's already matched his output from last game. Three points. 12-6 Lakers, and Avery wants a timeout. Well, Avery needs a timeout because Avery's the kind of a coach that is really trying to preach, obviously, the offensive end, but he wants them to play good defense. And the Lakers have started out on a roll, making five out of eight from the field. Lamar capping it off with his first shot of the night. Happened to be a three, and the Lakers jump out on top by six. 12-6. Won it by three. We knew we were sitting on something special at halftime, didn't we? 58 56 Lakers. We got up like, whoa. It was really something else. And the Lakers hey, a real clean game as it's tapped out off the miss. So, a second chance. How about a third? No. Yes, it is going to be a third. Usually a long rebound, and that's what you got to worry about is Howard. Yeah, he took a real quick step. Chris Pippins had taken away, but stayed with the play, and now. It's stolen by Griffin. Del's a fourth try. Do you believe Are this? You me? And Dampier. You give a team three yes. times and tries and you normally pay the price. Well, you better increase your lead off of it because they're three for 13. And Brian Cook does exactly that. 14 to 6. Lakers by eight after that sequence. Do you believe it? Well, that's what happens. And you get four chances and you, do, and you don't score. Rest assured the opposition is going to score on their attempt. Oh. 
the pick and roll. That's the way you can. He finished strong that time with a reach and a foul. So it stops a 7 and nothing run. Just uh, possession of the ball to increase your chances of winning. You keep turning it over, your chances keep going down to two. Right. That's already the third giveaway for the Lakers. Novitski. I think he likes that shot. Again, I, and I forgot, this is my bad. I was going to tell Brian Cook about, you know, learning how to start stripping dirt from the floor to his waist. Because once he gets it past there and gets it over his head, you don't block his shot. Lamar, too strong, but batted all the way out by Chris Mint. Kobe keeps it alive with a little leaner, and Kobe does it again. 16-11. How hot is Kobe? Wow. He's got 10, and he's 4 of 5, making 5 of 6 now, Stu. That was just another hustle play by Kobe. Two uh, Mavericks had a chance. He's also a very good rebounding team. As Marquise Daniels here for the first time, and he lost it. Chris Mint came over to help out Lamar Odom on the run. It's Bush trying to lose Griffin, and Griffin grabs him. That'll be a couple of free throws for Parker. Good job of getting uh, from offense to defense, getting out in the transition. I keep talking about Kobe's efforts in the way he beats player, players to the ball because he plays this game with such a amount of passion and energy that he's always going to be one of the first to the loose balls. And tonight, Lakers have to set up for Smush. 16-11. The Lakers, 1 of 4. Smush, rather, 1 of 4 the strike. Now Josh Howard mismatched the fall away over Chris Mim. Josh Howard keeps the ball nice and high over his head as well. Bob Orlando's pool, one of the three officials. He's working with Leroy Richardson. The lead. As Novitsky tries one of those long rainbows. Is Steve Javi. You talk about a difficult shot to get to, and that's Dirk Novitsky. He's seven foot. He falls away with it and keeps it high over his head. Uh, Chris Mim wanted the entry. It was going to be a difficult one. And now Kobe hit on his way in. Oh, Uppers is in anyway. Even with the contact early. They saw that shot in Dallas, and they're seeing it again here at Staples Center. So Kobe working his magic along the baseline. Kobe 6 of 7. He's got 12 of the first 19 for the Lakers. Now too close. Novitski again on the step back. So Novitski trying to keep up with him. He's got 8. Lakers by four, 19-15. The Lakers getting two-thirds of their shots. That's the problem with the Mavericks at only 39%. Chris Mint, great position, and with the left hand, doesn't get the finger roll. Well, I don't know if Chris Will tried to use the glass or just wanted to shoot it straight in that time. As it turns out, he missed it. That's a play there where you oh, break down defensively right. coming back. Stay with How Nobody can you lose Nowitzki? Nobody talked. When you got early offense, you really have to do a lot of communicating because sometimes you have cross matches in the first quarter. And Kobe trying to keep the Lakers on top, showing them all of the arsenal. That's just beautiful basketball. That's athleticism. I don't think you teach that particular move. You either have it or you don't. And guess what? Kobe, you got it. Quite a bit. Kwame Brown in, so is Sasha. Devin George to take it over for Brian Cook. Kobe stays out there, and Kobe will get it again. And Kobe could have a double-double by the end of the quarter. That is his fifth board. Inside he goes, creates contact, and looks for the three-point play. You see how he jumped that time? Yes. He had more of an open lane if he goes straight to the glass when he got past his defender, but he jumps right into the chest oh, to no. stop him from being able to really elevate and get the block. Right there he goes right into him. Contact. Count it and one. That classifies as a blocking foul. And Kobe goes to the line to see if he can complete the three-point play. We're on his way to point number 15. He's got it. Keep at the free throw line. Five and I hope they don't fall in love with three. Sasha, Devin, last game. You remember they were combined two for ten. Get the ball inside. Create contact. They almost took it away. Marquise Daniels found his clone, Josh Howard, on the jump stop. Almost been an incredible play. And last touch, well, it's saved. I thought it was headed out of bounds off Lamar. That's a break. Well, it was definitely headed out, out of bounds off of Lamar, but real estate was in the Lakers' favor, and Devin George was able to track it down. Final two minutes, Devin. A deuce. That's good. The Lakers lead by seven. So, Devin. They told me to start with, and they could. They talked about Devin Harris. How about 10 of 10 to the line last game on that run? He blows a good look. Yeah, he took it away, but it's going to be a reach. Devin Harris and a couple of free throws coming up for Devin George. The Lakers uh, dodged one there because yes. it looked like the uh, Mavericks were going to be able to come up with that steal after the easy miss. Some drags right. on the floor. 
I'm good. Yeah, until the hot hand dries up and another miss of the stripe. And are we going to have a lane violation? No, there's no. some blood on Kwame after. Yes, he got a cut. Uh, it looks like across his arm. And uh, that ended up being almost a brick by yeah, Howard. Barely got across the rim. Now Kwame in the post. Will they repost it? No. Nice kick. Laurent Profit. Right on line. Too strong. So good look for Laurent. Back for the high screen. And when you run your offense and you miss a shot within the offense, coaches can't say a word. Obviously, they would like for you to make the shot. Right. But they know you're not missing shots on purpose. So as long as you get shots in the offense, when you start forcing shots and missing, all of a sudden now they got to get score. Bad form. And that'll do it as they miss the corner jumper. So Sasha tried to sell it, and Van Horn rode him all the way to the floor. They both went down, but the Lakers, well, they got a break at the end of the quarter as well. Well, they rode the 15 points to Kobe into this first quarter lead, and they are really happy that that young man showed up. They're also happy that their defense is being pretty effective. Dallas missing their last seven shots from the field. That has enabled the Lakers to go back up by seven. Three quarters left to play. Can the Lakers put together a full game? Well, it's got to pick up for the rest of the guys, man. Nobody has got more than three among the starting five, except for Kobe. And there's a breakdown defensively to start things off. Real nice look by Dirk. Caught the ball on an ISO play, and as Keith Van Horn was <laughs> wide open, Dirk makes the nice pass. So the Lakers give up a deuce loop with contact. Man, bouncing well, off Devin Harris. Well, if he's going to match up with Devin Harris, don't try to take him off the dribble like that. It was successful that time. Take him to the box where all you have to do is catch it and use your size. Man, Devin Harris slicing his way into the paint with an answer off the window. And he is guarding Luke, so Luke should go to the box and uh, just catch, use his uh, size advantage. Kobe went around the double and is grabbed by Jason Terry. What a decoy. Cop before Kwame could even come out to set, he was gone. Well, man. And now... On Lakers Live Wire tonight, the man we were just talking about who was honored between the first and second quarters, given his jersey, Rick Fox courtside. Rick, you want to put that jersey back on? <laughs> <laughs> it's very tempting right now, but we got a lead, so I, I'm quite all right over here. I tell you, Rick, you look uh, as good, if not better, than you did when you retired. How you doing it? <laughs> well, you know what? There's a lot of time left to, to take care of the body. And as you know, when, with the season in the NBA, most of your downtime is spent recovering as opposed to training, and uh, right now I got a lot of free time, so I, I get to I get to work out five days a week. Free time? What do you mean free time? <laughs> You're not uh, getting into the business. I'm sorry. Are you getting into the acting business? Yeah, yeah. I've been on a show, uh, a show called Love Inc. on UPN on Thursday nights. Uh, well, right now from this side of the court, you know, I, I'm not actually in the game. That's probably one of the, the competition is one thing I miss the most, but also competing with uh, a group of guys who you who you spend your years with. And I had the utmost confidence knowing that uh, I had a good chance of doing a decent job. Kobe gets a couple Lakers by six. Talk about it and know how to not than I do. Talking with Rick Fox. Rick, tell me a little bit about where you think the Lakers need to make the most improvement defensively. Personally, I think they, as a young team, they've continued to make strides, and it was exciting to see that last road trip uh, that they go out on the road and they they have a 5-1 and one record, which hasn't been duplicated since I think it was in the early 2000s, and LeBron profits. So you, you think that it's just a conscious effort. First, first principle of defense, obviously, is staying between your man and the basket. Yeah, that was an easy one for Kobe, wasn't once, it, over Nowitzki? Once you start from there, <laughs> then you just don't compromise a lot of, a lot of your position. And the principles that, from a defensive standpoint that a lot of teams don't really emphasize enough, and you, you see players get blindsided or uh, a player's wide open solely because there wasn't any verbal communication. It's that fear that if I got down here that I, I'd, I'd try to head over there and, and put on a uniform. And now I am, I'm quite assured now that that's not a possibility. So, <laughs> so I can come and be a fan. Yeah, the run continues for the Dallas Mavericks as the Mavericks now are only down by two. We continue our conversation with 8.45 to play in the half. With former Laker Rick Fox is between the first and second quarters. Gabe Rick, the last, last jersey he played in, framed as Luke Walton puts the Lakers back up by four. Andrew Bynum and some of the younger ones. Kwame Brown comes over. It's got to be encouraging for you, as you said, five and one on the road trip. 
Now, do you track the Lakers? Do you, like us, obviously, do you build your schedule around Laker games? Yeah, I, I do. I, I got them on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I go home, I watch them sometimes at, at you know, at, at times of the night that maybe most people don't watch basketball, but but yeah, I don't I don't miss a game. I, I, I watch out of uh, out of interest because I, I want to see not only the guys I played with do well, but now that Phil and the coaching staff are back together, I want to see them have success. I watch with a you know obviously with a critical eye, and I, I make my calls to to you know to management. And I, Mitch and I get out sometimes, and and we just we share our thoughts. And you know, I'm, there's not a bigger Laker fan out there now. Obviously, uh, there's a, num- a lot of Laker fans, but I, I consider myself one of the biggest because I you know my heart is is with this organization, and I I want us to rise to the top again. Driving the ship here for the Lakers. Yeah, we're all lucky to have Phil back. We agree with you on that. Rick, congratulations on the ceremony tonight. By the way, we all miss you. Rick. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Rick Fox. Rick has some pretty good records against uh, most teams. Without a doubt. Deflection. Smush got his hand on the ball. Kobe on the run. Right. The distance and he's grabbed. And now the tumble, unfortunately, but fortunately for Kobe, he had a cushion. Yeah, the, the guy that caught <laughs> Pouty. <laughs> and only about uh, six, seven minutes. Kobe. Barely moved the twine that time. We want to thank Rick Fox, one of our all-time favorites, for joining us earlier tonight on Lakers Live. Oh, oh what goodness. a jam by Devin Harris down the middle of the lane. <laughs> you let a small come down the lane, and he just posterized a few people. That's a nice play, Mr. Harris. Joyce so Parker probing. Nothing available inside. Harris used it up at the opposite end, obviously. Kobe wanted to jump it in when Nowitzki came over with a double. All of a sudden, the mindset changed. I want to see Devin Harris. Howard fouled by George will go to the line to shoot two. Boy, a lot of pressure at midcourt, and Devin Harris just explodes and then takes off from the dotted line and says, take this. That is nice. <laughs> Do you like that a little? Oh, yeah, that is very nice. <laughs> They've got six and double figures in Devin Harris in his second season. We have 58-56 and a half of the game Monday night in Dallas. Lakers led by two. Lakers still at 58%, up to 42%, though, for the Mavericks. And Toby had Marquise Daniels coming over his back. You know, when you have a player that is trailing Josh you on a Howard play right like that, you know he's trailing you. If you just stop. It's from different mothers. Are you saying you're, they should be changing their headbands or something? Well, or just wrap it differently. <laughs> With wide receivers, you can look at the tape on the wrists, their fingers, and you can pick up all little things in the NFL. These guys look a lot alike. Oh, that's Smush with another steal. Kobe Queen. Yes, Smush, the finger roll. Well, see, Smush wanted to do what Devin Harris did, but I think Smush took off a little too soon and <laughs> ran out of airtime. On his way down too close to the rim. Lakers more points off a mistake. The Lakers back up by seven. Boy, Smush has been in the middle of a couple of takeaways. But it's, what a stroke. Over Lamar, who's not exactly short either with his length, and especially when he extends the arm. Or Jason Terry. Terry's way up average-wise after coming over early last season. Oh, and barely drawing iron. That's a rarity for Dirk Nowitzki. That's a patented move of his on that spin and the drop step. He falls away. For a big guy. How about the footwork? Got it! Lakers lead by eight. <laughs> ah, that young man is on for a Kobe. roll, boy. He caught that one. I mean, he didn't even hesitate. The second defender had no chance to get to him. Suppose coming over to Steve Javi saying, he's holding my arm. Look at Adrian Griffin out there on that island, and Kobe says, you better bail out because if they leave you here by yourself, you're going to be in deep trouble. And Kobe's already been at the free throw line a lot tonight. Eight of nine so far as Terry will shoot two. But Stu and I have talked about it a couple of times. He could be there even more tonight. One of the best in college basketball. One of two. And Devin George made sure it did not get back to the shooter. Good play. No, it's just fundamental basketball. Right. You block the, uh, box the shooter out and you get the long rebound yourself. Kobe, early entry. Off the window. Got yes. it again. You know things are going oh, well. Off the window twice. You've got the <laughs> Lakers with the biggest lead of the game. He's got 29 of the first 47 for the Lakers. 29 with four minutes to play in the half. The boards. 47-39. And he got both. 47-40 despite the fact the Lakers are shooting 58.5%. Thoroughly up by seven. 
Now get it across the line and good move. Scores past it across the line. Lamar leaving it off. Nobody at home. There's a break. Could have been a turnover. Lamar hit a three. Instead, smush for a three, and it'll go out of bounds. Lamar hit that early three. He's only one for two with a couple of boards in 16 minutes of play. So, again, we talked about Lamar taking a few more than five shots like the last game. Hot hand going. They still have to get themselves involved a little bit. Keith Van Horn doesn't get the roll. They find themselves being spectators with Kobe right. a little too much when he's rolling like he's rolling right now. Now Lamar. They wanted him to bounce to the inside. He just goes deeper into the hole. And off the deflection, Kobe will get it. Over Daniels. Another three. <laughs> Kobe puts the Lakers up by 10, 50 to 40 at 32 points and counting for Kobe. Oh, my goodness. What a joke. Huh? Wasn't good. I mean, too flat of an angle. You have to take another dribble or two over, increase your passing lane and angle, and that'll be a better entry pass. Kobe Bryant sitting on the bench and... Uh, Boy, this crowd, they're starting to buzz a lot because they realize that number eight has it rolling. I'd say 32 in the first half is <laughs> rolling. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, I mean, he has got it Kobe rolling. Boy, 32 points here in the first half, and he's hit an array of different looking shots. Double kisses off the glass. Uh, Three-pointers has been especially for him in this first half as he's knocked down uh, two out of three from that distance. Yeah, shit. yeah, I know you got it rolling. 42 to is the record for a half, and yeah, Kobe, you got that too. And he did that against the Wizards back in back when Michael Jordan made his last appearance at Staples Center. I'll never see it called that way, but good job out of Lamar. Harris on the screen to roll. Van Horn trying to get the rim blocked by Kwame that time, and Lamar will get it. Great well, stop by the Lakers. That's the kind of defense interiorly that they needed in their last game when someone drove to the basket. Kwame held up by Dampier and they're going to call the walk. Yeah, he did. I thought he did as well. Well, he shifted to the other side of the paint without putting it down. But Kwame got it going with the defense. Keith Van Horn says, I got an E. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know Kwame could jump that high. Keith, yes, he can. And as he just now showed it to you. And then who's going to be quicker in the ball, Lamar or Keith Van Horn? Compared to 36%, and only eight, and Dallas has missed their last seven. Scary. You got that. Final minute of the first half. Devin Harris trying to get inside. And he cleared out, used his off arm, and it was seen that time. Smush Parker brought it up to Steve Jabby the last time he did it, and it paid off because Steve Jabby made the call. And I like what Avery Johnson just did. Devin Harris uh, wanted to complain on that call a lot. But Avery said, no, settle down. Let's just get back and play defense. And uh, I, I think that helps your team a lot. Now the bar hard to the hole, draws the contact from Nowitzki. So the bar a couple of times out of that last timeout. But again, Kobe's on the bench now. Right. So Lamar has to be assertive. He has to be assertive. Uh, what he needs to do a little bit more is even when Kobe's in the game, be assertive maybe not as much because kobe has got it rolling you know sunday against the rockets uh, five shot attempts one field goal the previous eight games he had it going shooting 61 percent so it's the, the fine line for him is daily jack of the box halftime report is lamar looks good on the second now i'm gonna stop and a final shot for the lakers yeah that'll give him a little bit of momentum going into uh, halftime but they put dirt back on the floor with less than a minute to play to get some momentum for themselves. Jerry turned the corner, but Kwame was there. Lamar on the run. How about some contact? Well, he'll take the layup. Nowitzki just didn't want that third foul. Well, and you know, that's a very smart play by you dirt. Said it. Well, I picked that third one up when they're so reliant upon him offensively as well. I'm not saying don't play defense, but look at the clock, look at the situation. And with uh, this little bit of time left in the first half, the chance of him making that play successfully were slim to none. Shot clock, game clock separated by right about two seconds. Kwame coming over, still dumb it inside. Dampier fouled by Lamar. Would have counted had it gone. And now it would go to the free throw line as Lamar picks up his first foul. Well, that that play, that was a gamble by Kwame. And Judah. Beauty. He's just proving you right again. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Well, that shooter's touch every yeah, time. Absolutely, man. When you can shoot the ball that effectively, you're supposed to get those. Here comes Kobe with the final shot of the half for the Lakers. You think they'll double team? I was waiting for that. The three from Kobe. Oh, oh my just goodness. barely off. So the Lakers go to the break thanks to Kobe's 32, up by nine.
Kobe having a chat with the official. He wanted to know. He thought he got fouled on that three-point attempt. <laughs> Believe it or not, and Kobe says, well, even though I got fouled, they're not going to give me that call. Yeah, what a display. It was a treat for all of us here courtside as Kobe turned it on. 32 in the first half. Lakers by nine at the break. They're on top, 53 to 44 over the Mavericks. Now let's join Billy McDonald, Jack Haley, the Jack of the Box halftime report. 53 44, start of the second half. Will it continue for the Lakers with the stops? How about a takeaway to start it off? Smush up against Dampier oh. and grab from behind. He'll go to the line to shoot two. What a way to come out of the locker room. I mean, seriously, if you've got yourself a lead and you've done it with your defense, you come out of the locker room with a, a turnover, a steal, as uh, Smush says, thank you very much, uh, Eric. That's the way you keep your eyes open for someone blindsiding you. And then free throws coming to Smush, who missed two free throws in the, or excuse me, three free throws in the first half. Of his three-pointers. And coming into the game, you know, at the free throw line, not awful, 70%. He gets one of two. Well, that 70% will take a major hit <laughs> tonight. And much of threat he gives the Lakers from 15 to 20 foot range. Lamar snatches down that oh, pass. What an out there. A beautiful one to Kobe. Working against the inside on the bank. And the contact was there in the lower portion of his body. Will it be Nowitzki? Wow. No. Dampier free throw coming up in the early part of the third quarter tells you a lot about their second half and the rest of the way absolutely if the Lakers can really do the job coming out of the gate here Kobe misses one of two and uh, increase this lead then they'll have a an easier time in the fourth quarter a few times and a moving wall of that the double frees up and Kristen cleans it up as they try to get it inside Josh Howard blocked away on the spin. Kobe's grabbed. He'll go to the line to shoot two, and Nowitzki's got a technical. That's an easy call. <laughs> right in front of Steve Javi. Uh, Steve Javi. Yeah, I like the way Javi gave the technical, though. No real, uh, you know, energy in it. He just looked at Dirk and said, I think, Dirk, I'm going to give you a T. And he gave him the real slow T as Kobe gets fouled and slaps Dirk upside the head. And that's what Dirk was upset about. <laughs> He threw his arms in disgust to Steve Jam. He said, okay, go ahead. What else you got to say? Uh, I think it's going to cost you a couple of dollars. Now, Nowitzki gets both. He gets the reach, then he gets the technical. Kobe gets the first. There's three coming. And so Nowitzki with three. 10-16 to play. Sixth leading scorer in the league at better than 26 a contest. And they just can't afford to lose him. Avery Johnson having a real chat now with Steve Javi, and he just picked up a technical foul. <laughs> Been there, done that. We've seen it a few times. you, you got to pick your spots and pick your officials. He's a quiet man most of the time, but when you get him riled up, and he's riled up right now. So, uh, Mark with a fresh cut since the last time we saw him last from more verbal volleyball with Phil Jackson. Adding to his second best scoring average in the league, better than 31 a contest. But see, it's the histrionics of uh, Dirk. He, he had no choice but to call a technical on that one. I mean, without a doubt, right? Dirk next might door. have been upset that he got hit in the face and everything, but the way his reaction was afterwards, uh, I think the official had uh, no choice. Now, with Dirk on the bench, can the Lakers add to this 15 point margin? Now they've missed 10 straight. Eight to close out the first half. Their first two of the third quarter. And Josh Howard, long range, just inside the arc. Josh Howard, very athletic guy going to the basket most of the time. That time, though, with the shot clock winding down. Good look. 59-46. Lakers by 13. Kobe had the isolation. It comes Ooh, real late. Pass? Right. The angle of the pass, that's the thing that worries me the most uh, when you run your, your offense. And no matter what offense it is, it's always the angle of pass. Chris Smith held up. He didn't bring it back down. Dampier with the foul. And Chris works so hard early in shot clocks, and that time they found him late. Well, I tell you something. They found him real late because he was uh, in a situation almost where the uh, official was thinking about calling three seconds, but they said, no, he caught it, went right to work. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, give him a three-point opportunity as he goes to the line. You don't have to remind uh, Kobe, though. Oh, well, I know. Yeah, you, say, you said that yeah. night. He's got a oh, real yeah. long memory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lakers by 16 as Chris Mim now has four points. 16 minutes with four points. 
62-46 Lakers. Now can you pour it on? Howard had a little jump hook. And tapped it over to Marquise Daniels. Boy, smart play the way he directed that. He couldn't control it. Actually, I don't know if he did it or he came over the top of Kobe so much that Kobe uh, ended up trying to control it and couldn't, and it went right to him. But they get the easiest deuce of the evening. Well, the Mavericks already had a team foul. So they've got four. Lakers shoot the rest of the way. Chris Nim over the top, and it was off the window. Blocked by a big guy. I'll tell you It'll what. It'll be a bucket for Mim. You talk about ceiling, and when you got somebody six foot ten. Uh, making the entry pass <laughs> makes it a lot easier as Chris Mim with the seal and Lamar with the pass and then the goaltend. Ever. The most we've seen was the Dallas game yeah. when he drove that baseline and he didn't get it when he was, well, they almost broke his elbow. Now the hesitation, a little release, and it's going to fall. Uh, Marquise Daniels. Marquise Daniels has that little floater on down pat. Distance that the ball has to travel. Two things to be concerned about when you're passing the ball in your offense. Chris Mim asking for it to get to Becca again. Hands it off to Kobe. The fall away. It still works. Kobe's got 39. Lakers back up by 16, 66, you know 50. What? That's the type of play I would milk a lot, where Kobe didn't have to do a lot off the dribble. He pass it in and didn't make the cut. Chris Mim helping out. Mbenga blocked by Odom. <laughs> what a stop by the bar. Wow. So a dose a, of his own medicine. That was a major league block there. That thing went straight down. Now Kobe going and blasting past Daniels Ooh. off the window. And Ooh. lots of contact. They weren't going to let Kobe go in clean. And <laughs> he didn't appreciate that. And that, that's what will happen when someone is serving you up like that. And I'm telling you something. Kobe is serving them up right now. And the hard foul was sure to follow pretty soon. Right. And he blew by Daniels. But then Howard came over. Uh, what are they calling here? Are they going to call flagrant or are they just... Yes, it is going to be a flagrant on Josh Howard. Kobe goes into a crowd, and I mean, they swing at the ball. Ooh, Ooh. That is a flagrant. Oh, that's very close to flagrant, too, because he went to the head. I mean, really to the head. Bam! Ooh. Like I said, Kobe's got a memory. And Kobe was talking about a cool customer. It'd be easy to jump into a guy's face. And then all of a sudden, it's not only a flagrant, but you picked up a team. That is something else. To maintain your composure like Kobe did after what we just saw. He gets hit upside the head. Yep. Right across the noggin. Pow! So Kobe with a couple on the flagrant. And the Lakers will bring it in. Man, Avery Johnson has just been thrown out. He picked up a second technical. And he knew it was coming. So as soon as he said what he said, he started walking off the floor. <laughs> Avery looked at the clock and the scoreboard and said, 17 points. We just seem like we can't turn around. Maybe I should get this second one. See if then I can instill some life into my team. As I think that technical was uh, pretty much choreographed. And by the way, Kobe gets another free throw. And capitalizes on the technical against Avery. So Kobe's got 40, 41 with that make. 15 of 18 of the stripe in 25 minutes of play. Brian Cook will sit down. As the Lakers bring in Devin George. A lot of time. 7.46 to play. So Dell is, well, not exactly Alexander Haig, but Dell Harris is taken by the Mavericks. It'll be smushed for three. Too long. That's all right. Trying to open up a huge one. Jason Terry, very quiet tonight, but Davinsky in a good catch position against a smaller man. And on the scoop. Lamar came over, but it was too late on the double. 69-54. 17 for Davinsky, who averages better than 26 a game. And I think Dirk is going to really look to be aggressive offensively now. I mean, he realizes, obviously, the team is down a bundle. They've had some calls that they don't like. Rizzo. Kobe loves it. <laughs> Kobe up to 44. But if they're going to play a zone, it better be a box and one. They better put a man on right. Kobe. But if they let him just uh, roam around the baseline and the perimeter, hot as he is tonight. Now that or written by him. Oh, that was patented. We've seen that a lot. A frozen rope running hook by Keith Van Horn. And he has averaged 37 a game against the Mavericks. And, well, it's going to go up again. Still so much time left. 13 of 21 for the field, by the way, in those 44 points for Kobe. Now Chris Mim with a mismatch. 
Work it against Keith Van Horn as they run through to clear space. Repost. Got to make a decision in a hurry. Shot clock down. He'll go underneath. And boy, Van Horn got away with one. And Mim makes it work. Boy, that wasn't that, easy for Kress. It wasn't pretty. Uh, there was contact, but the official ruled that not enough to send him to the line. Van Horn for three. Real short. And Chris Mim both ends of the floor. Oh. Almost gave it away. And he did. Uh, see, there it is. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, they realize he's got the hot hand working. And every time they can, they're trying to get him the ball. Nowitzki tries to throw it down. On the putback, it's going to be short by Marquise Daniels, and Lamar's got it. There's a break for the Lakers. That's the way you attack it, Dirk. That was a, an aggressive play. Very aggressive. He was trying to make a statement for his teammates. Kobe off the crossover. Got it again. He's got 46. Lakers lead by 19. So Kobe has matched his season high. That came earlier this year against New Jersey. Kevin Harris. And Jobbin was a good pass. Couldn't handle it. Put him in a bad spot. The hands. Kobe. Again. <laughs> and almost taken away by Devin George. Good effort, Dev. So the Lakers by 19, their biggest lead of the night. 428 left in the third. And everything else. After 109 106 Lakers last Monday. Shot clock coming down to Vinsky. Doesn't mind from the standstill position. And Kobe skies for that one. Kobe yes. doesn't have the numbers, but boy, he's trying to make his own statement. On the reverse, he does. That's why I said. Lakers by 21. Watch, I said, watch this. I knew what he was getting ready to do. I knew he was going to attack <laughs> the two defenders. I was just concerned. I didn't know how he was going to do it. I need to slow this train down. Well, there's an air ball from 15 feet for Devin Harris. So I think the crowd enjoyed it a little bit at his expense. Tonight, you're right. Eighth there's wonder there. of the world. <laughs> Absolutely on target tonight. He's got 48. Hey, he's wearing a, a Sasha jersey. <laughs> he's trying to bring that Where's karma. Where's his Kobe jersey? He's trying to bring that karma to Sasha. Kobe blows past Daniels, and it's spiked away. Oh. But it'll be a foul on Jock. Uh, the play right before this, when the Lakers got the rebound and pushed it up, and Kobe was the guy pushing it up. Two defenders are back, and Kobe says, I'm going right between them. I mean, just right between them. So Kobe with two free throws can get to the 50-point mark <laughs> with three, 3.32 to go in the third. LeBron James has the most points in the NBA this season with 52. And I, I would say it's pretty safe to say. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. I think Kobe might get 52. What do you think? Maybe? I'll take the over. <laughs> <laughs> Lakers 79 to 57. The only guy that can stop uh, number eight tonight is uh, Joe Jackson. <laughs> now, well, he's been out there for 29 minutes, and if it gets out of hand, you want to save him because it didn't get much of the rim for Josh Howard. Went right off his fingertips, out of bounds, so the Lakers get a fresh 24. Bush, look at I found. What ready for that? Luke Walton's in the game for the Lakers. On the inside of the shot clock, a fresh one for Chris Mim. He's going to, well, he lost it, but it goes right to Luke. Went in doubt. Instead, this time, smush to three. He got it. Lakers 83 to 58 at 25 and counting. Smush has seven. Well, I tell you, I like the fact that somebody other than uh, Kobe took the shot. And Luke went into the corner. Kobe was available on the wing and deep on the wing. That's Josh Allen. A couple of Lakers there. Luke got out of the way. Chris Mim takes it. Chris has six boards with nine points. Kobe trying to lose his man on the teardrop. What a well, beauty. 52. 85-58. <laughs> that ties the season high in the NBA with LeBron James. Now he's four points away from tying his career high. Three and a half minutes last Monday night against this team. And up at the top five of minutes play. 85-58. Devin Harris taken away. Kobe was there. Now Kobe in the race with Nowitzki and knocked out of bounds. Look at Kobe. He looked at the official like, I didn't get fouled on that play. One on three. Ball trying a, a shot from the holster. You're going to eat it. 
Trying to set the pick. Kobe on the run. And Luke trying to lead him. He's tripped, though. Kobe will go to the line. Look at that little pass by Luke, though. Like a quarterback leading the wide receiver. I'm going to well, flip it over your shoulder. And that pass should never happen. The, guard, the guy guarding Luke Walton should be shading under the basket so that there's no pass along the baseline. There's nobody guarding Luke. They're double teaming Kobe, and they can throw it right under the bucket. He gets tripped up. He gets fouled. He's at the line to shoot two. Yeah, he's got enough energy to get a couple more there. At least one so far. 50's free for Kobe. 18 of 21 at the free throw line. Currently a 14 to 1 run for the Lakers of the first start of the last four and a half minutes. Well, they're really taking advantage of the situation. And it's up to 29 points. The lead for the Lakers. 87 to 58. Kobe's got 54. 54 on 29 shots. <laughs> yeah, that's efficient. <laughs> that is production. Wow. Adrian Griffin setting up Josh Howard. Man, Nowitzki's there. Take it away. Block Kobe <laughs> with Devin George. Devin's got a piece of that. Yes, that sandwich. Kobe. And it snaked away with a foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two more. You know, he's ever since that tomahawk chop across the side of his face and his neck from Josh Howard. Talk about a t determined athlete. Well, I <laughs> mean. And he's, he's always that yeah, way. He's determined from the very beginning. But when you add something to the mix, you can see what can develop here. And uh, the coaching staff of the Lakers are all sitting there. And I think what they're all saying in their heads, a minute and two left. <laughs> a minute and two. He's sitting on this one to match his career best to 56 points. Yeah, all of them. That well, game two against of, Memphis. Look, Curtin, look at Curtin P.J., arms crossed. <laughs> Are they bored? Yeah, day at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and he has just matched his career best of 56 points, giving the Lakers a 31-point lead, 89-58. to 58. Final minute. It's a team that's got the third best record in the NBA, don't forget. Devin Harris, awkward. Man, off balance. He didn't look comfortable on that shot, but he got it to go down. So, 11 for Devin Harris. Do you think they'll try for that two-for-one? 39.2 well, to play. Two for one? Kobe ain't worried about no two for one right I, here. I had to Kobe, bring it up. Kobe's worried about it. It. getting a new career high. I just want to make sure you're still listening. <laughs> Listen to the chant in the background. We'll lay out. They're all over Kobe. Yeah, what a start to an MVP season for Kobe on the leader. Yes! A new career best in the foul. Kobe's at 58. Are you kidding me? This is... Well, I'll tell you something. He's giving the fans their money's worth tonight. <laughs> He's giving me my money's worth tonight. Everybody in this building, disbelief. 91 to 60. With 26 seconds left. Adding to a career best as Kobe right. has 29. But how good? He can't be too good. Dallas is still beating him 60 to 59. 59 if, if for Dallas, Kobe. If Kobe was good, he'd have more than Dallas. <laughs> Come on, now look at the score. Kobe's got 59, Dallas has 60. You know, he put a lot of pressure on the guy. 59 for Kobe, 60 for the Mavericks. And a lot of the breaks that have come his way, he's been one on three. <laughs> I mean, the guy gets the uh, jumper, gets walked under, he gets the hoop and the foul. <laughs> Team, it comes in, as I mentioned. With an 18 and 6 record. Man, after the missed free throw. Final shot time. I guess who's going to take it? Yeah, Dallas, Tough call. Dallas ought to foul somebody else if Kobe can't get it. <laughs> now Kobe for three. I don't believe it. Incredible. 95, 61. Adds right. to his career. Okay. 62 okay. for Kobe. Hey, I take it back. <laughs> he is good, but he has more than Dallas has. Kobe threw three, <laughs> acknowledging the crowd on their feet. And he has outscored the Mavericks at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, they better get him to standing O right now because this is the last you'll see him tonight. The young man is done. He's done. Look at Rick. Rick says, I've seen a lot in my days, but yeah, is he the eighth wonder of the world? Tonight he is. He has put on an absolute clinic. Offensively, he has destroyed the Mavericks outscored them by himself. I've never seen it done. He heard you. 62 for Kobe and 61 for the Mavericks. Becomes uh, in question. And then obviously, BJ would put him, feel, would put him back in. Jason Terry.
Hits for three before Moffitt can recover on that far side. 95-64. So the Lakers 95-64. And Lamar changed that yes, shot without a doubt. Without contact, just got in front of Harris. His length. Sasha inside the arc. And the hits just keep on coming. Sasha in rhythm from Lamar. 97-64. 17 of 24. That's a season high for the Lakers. It had been 41. The other way, Devin Harris. Kid's a talented youngster. Yes, he is. Very talented, as well as Avery Johnson. He played the lead guard spot that well for so long. Great floor leader. Little general they called Avery with good reason. Good pass. Nice. He moves. And Laurent gets a couple of free throws. Now, it's funny. Kwame goes through the line. If he hits two free throws, give him an assist. That Luke Walton, because, <laughs> yeah. you know, you don't get the assist yeah. when a guy's hammered like that. Right now, it's a pass that leads to a basket, and all it needs to be is a pass that leads to uh, two points. Right. Or more. <laughs> Made free throws, two points, and we're on profit. That's some of the things I talk about when I say stats are misleading. Uh, I can give you ten passes in a game, and you get fouled on each one of them that you score on. One from the free throw line, and I don't get an assist. Right. And people say, oh, well, you weren't passing the ball. And Luke's got three assists. He could have a lot more, though, with the passes we've seen by Luke Walton tonight. And Kobe got one where he went to the free throw line on a little league bounce pass. Adrian Griffin to the baseline. And Kwame let it get away. As Sagana dropped from behind him. She almost tipped it in. Now Laurent Profit against the bigger oh. man in the crossover. Left Van Horn on the reverse. A nice <laughs> move by Laurent Profit. He's Lakers 101-66. Laurent's been watching Kobe play a little bit, huh? That's very reminiscent of the move that uh, Kobe makes oh so often as he just crosses him over. Says, pow, he's gone. Where'd he go, Keith? Find him on the other side of the basket <laughs> as he lays it up and uh, lays it in. And you know what? As the season progresses, the more we see Laurent Profit, the more we like Laurent Profit and the kind of the court savvy he brings. The Lakers by 35. Kwame with a one-handed catch and the finger roll. Well, I guess that is too much for the catch and the make. Well, again, uh, that's the one he's got to try to hammer that one a little bit. Right. Jason Terry cleaned off the class Lamar. by Lamar. Sasha on the break. Perfect pass, Luke. There's another assist that got away from Luke. You can see it coming well, you, up here. You don't have to change the rule book for that one, though. Jason Terry, you're right. <laughs> Terry, it's another three. The Lakers lead it by 32. Inside of nine left. 101 69. See, to keep doing the things that uh, the coaching staff wants you to do. This is not a uh, 10 minute uh, playground game now. This is constructive, uh, structured basketball, supposedly. They'll carry out and execute the way we talked about it before. The second unit report coming up right after the game tonight. Lamar, six points, eight boards, two assists on two of five shooting. And it's easy I'm, to feel that way when you got 62 in your pocket. I'm surprised they're sitting that close to Kobe. I mean, you get a burn. Hot as he is, you get, you get a, some kind of a burn on his hand. He's nodding to his buddy Rick Fox over there. And Lamar gets one of two, but 30 in the quarter. That is a Lakers franchise record. Kobe had tied it before with 24 and a quarter. Owned it with Jerry West and Elgin Banner. And now he's all by himself with 30 in the third against the Dallas Mavericks. Devin Harris off the pick, doesn't get the roll. Luke Walton timed it well again. And we've talked about how we are spoiled by Kobe's brilliance. Laurent Profit rewarded, running the baseline of Lamar found him. And that's what happens when you don't quit on a play. When Lamar made a move toward the basket, Laurent didn't stop to say, oh, he's going to take the shot. He has played at the level Kobe has played. And the reason the Lakers are three games over the 500 mark. He has been that high and that good. Luke with a teardrop runner. Normally, you just don't win games when one guy has right. that kind of a game. It's very difficult when nobody else is scoring. And the Lakers lost that game. It, it happens when, at times, as it's happening tonight. But you don't want to be uh, a team that relies on that very often. Well, a long time ago. And the Lakers lost when Kobe scored 46. We talked about that against New Jersey in overtime right here at Staples Center. Average team. It was 62-61 favor Bryant. Hopefully with Kobe. A good effort by Brian Cook. Either that or he says, my brakes aren't good. And all of it, oops, <laughs> headstand. Oh, nice roll. <laughs> What about the lady walking by? <laughs> Look at I found. <laughs> For the road, 14 and 11. We're going to see the bands on. And what a player he is going to be. Dwight Howard of the Orlando Magic. 
talk about building a franchise around a guy. Good look again, Devin Harris. You'll see him for many years to come. Well, Devin he's Harris, got 17. He, he's uh, doing anything where he gets body with you and separates you from, uh, from him. Luke off the dribble. And Andrew Bynum couldn't hang on. Pinball. Oh, and uh, Laurent Crawford, I think, hurt his ankle. And Andrew with a sweeping mm -hmm. hook. And you're right, Laurent Crawford. And, oh, right. I don't know if that's an ankle or an oh, did he? Well, did he just cramp up a little bit? Uh, I think he's, uh, he's hurt in definite pain, though, yeah. unfortunately. And, and the way he grabbed at it, it was almost like it wasn't a twisted ankle. I shouldn't be yeah, speculating really up here, but let's just hope it's nothing serious as uh, Laker trainer Gary Beatty immediately, I believe, is going to try to take him to the locker room. Wow, let's just hope it's nothing serious. Four minutes and 20 seconds left here, here to play in the fourth in a game that's belonged to the Lakers, especially because of one Kobe Bryant. Broke this open, and it was all because of Kobe, but the attention now is on LaRon Profit. Got injured on that play. Somehow injured his foot. The extent of the injury, we haven't been informed yet. They won't tell us that. But you can see when he grabbed down toward his Achilles, that's what led me to believe it was an Achilles. Now the lob, and just a little bit too tall, even for Andrew Bynum and behind him. But Luke Walton talked to him out of the timeout. We saw something was brewing because they walked together. So inside of four left, Josh Powell on the dribble penetration man big guy couldn't get it done a rookie out of North Carolina State the Lakers with Devin Green out there Andrew Bynum Luke Walton and Brian Cook Devin on the baseline a little bit long Daryl Armstrong no fouls and the rebound taken away by Armstrong <laughs> Sasha didn't see what hit him you talk about a guy with a bundle of energy yeah. he's Darryl a workaholic Armstrong 12 on the road all of last year. We don't want to talk about the final 12 contest that they played on the road. Find him. Little one to the middle. Staying with the play. Over him, bang up. Travel. And he walked with the basket. I like the effort, though. Right. I really like the effort. <laughs> Forecasting height. Wow. Better than meteorology. Sasha. For Devin what Green. What doing? Right. Shoot the basketball when you're not right. When you're never on the floor to begin with, and Benga with the two hander. 110 to 83. But Devin is still by 27. Oh, space is a real good feeling for both balls. On the pick and roll, and Benga. Man, despite the fact Cook got a piece of it, it went down. Not easy for the big fella. He had 62 points after three. Outscored him 62-61, and that, no. I don't know if you ever see that. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. If I, we have not received word yet on the injury to Laurent Profit, and I'm looking down to see if we're going to get anything for the PR staff. That could be a pizza delivery, though. <laughs> Somebody's on the phone over there. Nowitzki, he got a shiner from Kobe, and that's what really started it all, when Kobe went in and got fouled, and then Josh Howard really cracked Kobe across the head about a minute later. But Kobe Bryant. 48 free throws for the Lakers as a team. This is 29 and 30 for the Mavericks. So this is, uh, you know, my favorite part of the game is watching free throws. So I was really thrilled to see him. Is he, yeah. uh, the last couple of years with Cleveland, he just couldn't move. Really looks good. Yep. Really looks good. And they're really happy with uh, the way he's progressed this season so far. Devin Green off the bounce from Luke. So Luke gets an assist on what you don't figure. And for Luke, it's his fifth assist of the game. 112 to 88, make it 112 to 90, and that'll do it for scoring. Get it oh, across yeah, the line and yeah. call it a nine. Get it across midcourt and sit on it till it hatches. So the Lakers back to three games over the 500 mark with a very impressive performance and a spectacular one in particular for Kobe Bryant with a career best 62 points. We sat in on Laker history. Kobe, a new career best. And there's no doubt in my mind, more minutes, he would have eclipsed the 71. The all-time record of Elgin Baylor. Let's head on down now with Patrick O'Neill. Patrick. All right, Joel, thank you very much. The Southern California Sports Report starts right now. And uh, Showtime back in the house, Kobe Bryant. 62 points, a career high on 31 shots. The crowd's feeling it, going crazy. How did it feel on the win? It felt great, you know, we had a 
tough loss last game. So, you know, the past past couple of days, my mind just been on this game, just trying to win this game by any means necessary. And came out, we gave a great effort and uh, caught fire. Kobe had 30 points there in the third quarter. Did you know that you had to get your record, your career high in that third because you weren't going to play in the fourth? I, I became mindful of it once the crowd started kind of getting behind it. My teammates started pumping me up. And then I just fed off of the crowd and uh, got a big three there at the end. And the fact of the matter is, it is coming off a loss. You got the W tonight against a very good team, the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, that's the key. You know, we wanted to come in and win this game. Um, you know, we played well enough to win last game. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So we wanted to come out tonight and reestablish ourselves. And the Staples crowd here is not going to see you again until December 28th. You kind of gave uh, everybody an early Christmas present. Yeah, so everybody have a merry, merry Christmas. We'll see you guys when we get back. Have a good trip on the road. Thank you. Kobe Bryant getting it done. I tell you, a fan in the crowd had a sign saying, Kobe, the eighth wonder in the world. Indeed, he was tonight. In this Laker game, full coverage. Don't go anywhere. Analysis, interviews. We've got it all here coming up in the next few minutes. Jack? I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I mean, the kid, say, the kid's pretty good. I'll tell you what, I, I know this is Southern California Sports <laughs> Report, and we're at Staples Center, but if this was Wayne's World, we're not worthy. It was that good. I mean, Kobe Bryant's individual performance right tonight was one of the greatest I have ever seen. Remember, I played with Michael Jordan when he had some great performances. I played with David Robinson when he dropped 71 on the Clippers, and Kobe Bryant tonight eclipsed them all. He came out with a focus in this game, an intensity in this game, and a reason to try and come out and do it. I'll tell you what, it was well thought out and planned. Now, this is the blue defense. This is what they ran on him early. This is how they double teamed him, and a great job by Brian Shaw telling him before the game to take everything baseline because that's going to Away from the defense. They wanted to force him middle. Kobe took the baseline, was able to get to the free throw line. Second half, big mistake. They tried to zone him. Here, Dirk Nowinski guarding him from the perimeter. Pow! You can't go put a seven-footer on him. But this is the difference. Keep an eye on Kobe. Up for the rebound. All five Lakers in your screen. Kobe outruns all of them. Four players back. Are you going to stop Kobe Bryant, the best player on the floor? I don't think so. Slices, dices, inside, and finishes. The reason he scored 62 points in this game. He came out. He attacked. He stayed focused. And he never took his foot off the gas. First quarter, 15 points. Second quarter, backs it up with 17. I didn't think he could do it in the second half. I even said that he comes out and drops a Laker career high. 30 points in the third quarter, 62 points, and then he pulled a Jack Haley. DNP'd in the fourth. That I was proud of, but I'll tell you what, an amazing job by Kobe Bryant, and it was well executed. He wasn't just out there gunning. It was all within the context of the game.